there's nothing worse than flaky skin underneath our makeup. So even though we're late, we really can't skip this step. Then I'm taking my concealer and using it as a highlighter slash foundation really and applying it in all the places where I want to highlight or conceal. This is my forehead, bridge of nose, cheekbones, cupid's bow and chin. And then we're going to use our cushion foundation or any foundation with a buffing brush. And then we're just going to put a bit on and blend our concealer with everything making sure that you blend the edges more than the middle part of the concealer because we want that coverage. So I'm just messily blending here. Yep, we're in a rush, right? So I'm just gonna do this super quick. I honestly love this brush because it just feels so good. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites at the moment. And yeah, once it's blended, we no longer look like a weird monster anymore. We are going to just draw a natural line and fill it in. The spoolie helps brush your hair back in the beginning before you start. And then we're just gonna follow our natural brow line. Unfortunately, our brows may not be on fleek if we're in a rush, but the easiest way to not mess it up is really just to follow your natural eyebrow line. Otherwise, if we wanna be drawing different eyebrow shapes, it might not work this morning. And if you have dark hair, you can honestly skip this step, but I'm just taking a brow mascara and lightening my brows. Otherwise, they will totally not match with my hair. and That's not a good look, not any day. Also, a beige shimmer eyeshadow is optional underneath. And then I'm taking this brown eyeliner pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. So you just basically extend your eyeliner out a little bit. You can either wing it, do it straight, or droop it. It's up to you. And then you can just line all the way across the top of your lids. Don't worry about how clean this is. This is the beauty of this look. You can be quite messy with this while you're in a rush, but just line the whole top line. Make sure the ends of your liner is clean. And then on the bottom lashes, just fill in just the edges for definition. And then take either your fingers or a fluffy brush and just blend that. And this will become sort of like a smoky shadow because you'll be blending and softening your liner and just leaving the extended bit at the end for a clean line and blend the bottom liner as well. And honestly, this looks super natural. It really makes your eyes bigger and it's just a very subtle look because we're going to school, right? And I'm just going to take a eyelash curler and curl my lashes because honestly, this will detract from our dark eye circles from studying the night before because honestly, if you're like me at school, didn't get enough sleep. Yeah, then I'm gonna buy some mascara and this is what I'm using at the moment. It's a CoverGirl Lash Blast, I think. And oh, look at that extension falling off my eyes. Yep, they're all falling off right now. I'm gonna get them done again. And I'm just gonna add mascara to the top and bottom lashes. And this will really open up your eyes. And also if you push the mascara towards your eyeliner, you can actually get some darkness on your waterline, which will make your eyes more defined. Then taking a bronzer, I'm using my favorite brush again and just applying it underneath the cheekbones and blending it forward. Also on my hairline, cause we want some slimming there happening. And yeah, just blending that through to the jawline as well. Then taking the lip gloss that I have here in a beautiful coral reddish color. I'm just going to apply it on the inner part of my lips for an ombre look and look a little bit messy in there because we're in a rush. I'm trying to beat this timer. And then also a really really quick way to create the ombre lip is just to take your cushion foundation and just press your lips and just basically conceal the outer edges so it's soft. So yeah, that's the look in under five minutes.
I'm going to be taking this Batiste dry shampoo and just refreshing my roots because honestly we don't have time to wash our hair this morning. Spray your hair with some heat protectant spray and the easiest look to be honest to look neat and clean is just to straighten your hair. Especially if you have medium hair, the fastest thing to do is just run a hot iron through it really really quickly or you can just tie it up. I like to stick to monochrome colors because they're just super easy to match and think about using accessories to really bring out your outfit and then just wear something super simple. You can match this outfit with either some really cool Doc Martens or Vans, it's up to you. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!